Uh, hello everyone, my name is Andrei. In this video we'll talk about LLMs and uh, function calling. Uh, function calling is a popular topic, uh, but uh, there's always confusion in, in the way that uh, people think that uh, function uh, call is executed from LLM. It is not true, uh, because LLM itself it cannot call any external functions. L LLM acts a sort of uh, Wikipedia, which can produce response. So you ask LLM engine something and you get back response. So function calling is about uh, getting structured JSON uh, form response from LLM and then using parameters from JSON response to call function. So this is the function calling. So physically function calling uh, is executing uh, in your own code, in your own environment, it's not executing inside LLM. From LLM you get uh, values for parameters to call the function and you are responsible to, to call the function with those parameters. So function calling is about getting structured JSON output from LLM. And there are uh, multiple uh, options, multiple tools to execute this uh, kind of functionality. Uh, you can also execute it with OpenAI uh, API uh, using uh, uh, cloud models. But thanks to uh, Olama, we can execute uh, similar functionality using similar API signature methods uh, locally using Olama and uh, also using instructor library, which helps to generate structured output from LLM uh, response. So let's see, uh, over here I have example uh, where I'm uh, using uh, agent uh, fcall inside Sparrow and I'm passing through the query, I'm passing um, company name X uh, Exxon. And the idea is that uh, for this company I'll ask uh, LLM uh, what is the uh, stock uh, ticker identifier for this company. And then using this identifier we'll call uh, a third party finance uh, library which will return the latest uh, closing price for this, uh, for this company based on the ticker which was returned from the LLM. So uh, LLM returns structured output, uh, company name and ticker and then uh, uh, inside our uh, application inside Sparrow, we're reading this uh, value for the ticker and calling uh, library and getting back the answer over here, uh, the, the latest uh, closing price uh, for the Exxon stock. And then if I, let's say, rerun it, uh, we'll see that now it makes a call to LLM. And now I'm running it locally uh, on CPU, so it's a bit slow. If you would run it on GPU, then it would be uh, extremely fast for function calling because this is a relatively simple request. And uh, sometimes it may get slower, but like in this case, I was executing it in, in three seconds. Now it obviously runs slower, but anyway, the idea is that uh, you get structured output from uh, from from LLM and okay here it's finally executed and we get 113 the same thing like here and there we got ticker XOM and this is the identifier for Exxon if we would query with some other company we would get another ticker and then we would make a call uh, in this test I'm using Starlink LLM and I noticed that it works uh, quite well uh, with US based companies to get ticker identifier but if you would ask something uh, about company based in Europe or in other part then it would not return correct answer so uh, it's function calling uh, depends a lot on LLM quality and uh, if uh, you would use would like to use LLM example which doesn't know European companies then you need to fine-tune this LLM to in, uh, inject information about European companies or about some other use cases. Uh, it depends uh, how you would like to use it. Okay and now we'll see the code. So this functionality <coughs> is implemented inside fcall script over here. <coughs> it's following uh, the same uh, structure uh, for the agent implementation inside Sparrow, like for all other agents, we have we, have, uh, uh, we in inherit from the generic class. Uh, uh, in this case, from we get pipeline from the interface, inherit from this class, and we implement um, uh, abstract method run pipeline. We get parameters, and then we are good to go to to invoke our logic. We get query, 
which is the uh, company name in our case. Then we define, uh, with, through Pydantic, we define a class which will instruct um, <coughs> LLM uh, how uh, to structure uh, response that we would like to include in the response company and ticker information. And then using instructor library, we uh, simulate uh, request uh, to Olama in a way like we would call OpenAI. So get the client here, <clears throat> and then we specify uh, chat completion. We specify the model. In this case, we're using Starling. Then we specify the message saying that please return the company name and the ticker symbol of the company which comes from the query. And then we specify response model, which is the Pydantic uh, class we defined here and max extra is 10. So then we get over here, we uh, we execute the model and then we get back uh, uh, response and then we, uh, <coughs> from the response, <coughs> sorry, we're reading <coughs> uh, ticker information and then uh, from the third party, Yahoo Finance, in this case library, we get stock information and then we print it out. So. This is where actual function call happens. And this function call executes inside our code. And the idea is that the value to execute the function call value for the parameter we get from the LLM response uh, using this uh, helper instruct wrapper, which uh, is able to execute uh, a request to LLM response and get structured output, output through Olama as well. So it's kind of very simple example, and uh, hello world, you will see the same example in other places. My point was to show how you could uh, execute function with structured output within Sparrow, and hopefully this will be useful for your own use cases. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.